today guys we're going to be giving you a bit of a behind the scenes look at the production and design of our 20B billet centre plate. These plates were originally developed to replace the non-existent OEM centre plate and also to give the engine a little bit more strength and reliability. Contrary to what a lot of people might think, these plates on their own won't make the engine indestructible and have no effect on power levels. But what they do do is give the engine builder and tuner a little bit more strength and reliability through this bearing journal area here where the factory plate is prone to cracking. What I'll do now is pass you over to Chris, our in-house engineer, who will give you a quick rundown of the process involved. Okay, first up, before we even fire up on the CNC, there is a lot of work that gets done both on the bench and on the computer. In the beginning we start off with a standard plate. We measure the thickness, the overall dimensions of it, um, all the hole centers, diameters, radiuses, paying particular attention to the two main engine dowels which every, everything is based on. The, the, it's very important that the center bore is in the correct position otherwise when this uh, plate gets put into an engine, there'll be massive, massive problems. Once, once we've got all this on paper, we then thoroughly check everything over and over again, because once we create the, uh, the solid model for the, for the machining, if that's not right, we've got no chance of fixing it later. From there, all of our measurements are then transferred into our CAD design program where we make up a 3D model. We then carry out our own customisation to the original design for additional doweling as well as a few modifications to the oiling system. Once that stage is complete, we then move into the CAM program to create the tool pass required for the machining stage of the process. With the tool pass transferred over to the, our 4 axis CNC machine, we are ready to start. Each plate is loaded up individually for three stages of machining. Plates are removed and remounted for each stage of the process to give the CNC access to carry out specific tasks. During this time, tooling is also switched over with the CNC automatically selecting the appropriate tool for the job. Once the machining stage kicks off, the CNC machine transforms a solid slab of billet aluminium into what you see here, the finished pack performance billet 20B centerplate. 